people. Look at them. They're miraculous, they're brilliant, they're fascinating. They're also the weakest link in most systems. I mean, we're clumsy, sometimes we're greedy, we're often ill-informed. Let me set a scenario for a moment. I'm a criminal, but I can't be doing illegal things online in my own name. That's a dumb, dumb move, and pretty soon I'm gonna get caught. So what do I need? I need people, I need patsies, I need money mules. Let's jump back one step. What is a money mule? Most often it's someone who is recruited who allows their information to be used by a criminal in return for payment. It's often used to ship the proceeds of a criminal scheme from one place to another, hence the mules part of the term. And criminals are smart. Their mules are simply a part of a business model. It's a legitimate marketing scheme, it's a work from home setup, or any other tall tale concocted solely for the purpose of hiding behind you, your online profiles, and especially your reputation. By becoming a money mule, you actively become part of a criminal scheme. So how do fraudsters find their mules? Some of it is the deliberate targeting of people who have fallen on hard times and would welcome extra cash. But there's another classic, greed. Offers some people a relatively large amount of money and they have already figured out what they're gonna spend it on before they even do the deal. The last one, the always efficient gullibility. My personal favorite. It's like, hey, hey, hey bro, I got some free money. You want some free money? It's free and it's money. Why? This is practically too good to be true. Come on, dude. Really, that's because it is too good to be true. So let's pretend you're either desperate, greedy, or gullible. You become a money mule and you get caught. What happens next? I mean, getting yourself banned from the platform or app you're using is just the tip of the iceberg of legal punishment. Many countries' laws also have the potential to charge you with money laundering. That can even carry a jail term depending on the amount of money involved. You gotta remember, by becoming a money mule, you're empowering criminals that could be earning from drugs, weapons, and theft. So it shouldn't be a huge surprise to realize the law takes a pretty dim view of this. How does it get regulated? Bank secrecy and anti-money laundering laws are designed to close these opportunities down. And what about the companies who already have money mules in their system? If you're just looking at the numbers and deciding to turn a blind eye or simply never noticing their activity, that can lead to huge fines. Now, without shaming anyone, a major fintech provider from the UK was fined so heavily it set back their entire growth plan. So, money mealing is bad for the individual, terrible for the company, and unlike most types of fraud, it is a criminal cocktail that actually requires either willful ignorance of the laws, blatant stupidity, or sometimes a heady and decidedly undelicious mixture of both. So that's people. Don't be the weak part of the system. Don't be a money mule. You'll need someone who understand. Someone to leave.